What's the crack, lads? It's Monday. That means new packs, new legends. It's Beckham, Rivaldo, Mendieta. Are they any good? Let's find out. We get a cheeky little trailer for Beckham, Rivaldo, and Mendieta. We're going to start with the Brazilian Rivaldo, but we do also want to take a look at a couple of players in this selection that shine through, such as Modric and, of course, Gundo. There's a couple of others in there as well that we'll go through, but Rivaldo is definitely a player that I think people are going to either love or hate, okay? So with his stats here that you see, you're getting a plus two booster to his ball control, finishing, kick and power, and physical contact. This is going to be a key one for how we train him up, that physical contact, because, listen, Rivaldo's not going to be your run and gun, small, kind of like, mobile attacking midfielder that you can just pop up and pop in out of different positions, right? Uh, this is going to be all about, I think, power and, and, and really building him up exactly how you want him to be, possession-based and really, really slick on the ball, but slower, slower-based kind of attack patterns and stuff like that. His player skills are very poor as well, in my opinion. He doesn't have one-touch pass or first-time shot. He's missing a couple of passing stats, even though his pass or passing skills, even though his passing stats aren't the highest, he will probably be able to kind of hit a few nice passes because the passes is kind of busted at the moment anyway. But this is how we've trained him. Like 7, 4, 5, 14, 6, and 8. That is going to give you this monster here. You're going to have 90 with the booster and with the rest of the manager upgrades and the boost that you get with him. You're going to have 90 in attack and awareness. Of course, the ball control, dribbling, tight possession. Not going to get to the heights that you might see for even the likes of San Krasen, the free player that we got, or even some of the players on the Asian Cup selections. But this is a nice card, man. You know, you've got a couple of options with him with the finishing. If you want to have 90 finishing, you're going to have nice free kick your low pass is over 80 acceleration at 85 you're going to have balance and physical contact both at 90 it's a very unique kind of card and even if you don't want that finishing if you don't find yourself shooting a lot as an attacking midfielder you can still leave it it's going to get the manager boost at plus two um and you're going to be able to get that to 85 very easily with the two boosts there and still have a little bit left over if you want to give him a little bit more pop whether that's two into dexterity to give him up past the 85 mark i don't think you should but there's a lot of options with this card but you will need to invest a little bit in in him in my opinion and lads 37 percent of you guys yeah, that are baby. watching this video you yeah. might be one of them will not be subscribed to the channel so if you want to help me out i'm going to be grinding more there's some massive things coming in the future that you won't want to miss if you're looking for eFootball content please do hit that subscribe button and let's get back to the video so just to touch on some of the players in this selection, we'll get to Bex and Mendieta, but just a slight pivot to these two guys, Modric and Gundo, right? Modric, I think, is a very, very nice player. And everything that we said about Rivaldo, flip it on its side for Modric, right? So you're going to have double touch from the rip. You're going to have long range shooting, one touch pass, true pass, away to pass, outside curler, and of course, interception and captaincy, which is always nice. His stats are going to kind of look like this with the build that we've gone for, right? So once you have him to about here, where you've got your, you know, ball control, your tie possession, your low pass your loft to pass and of course that balance all well into the 90s okay you can decide whether you want to pop those five remaining points into finishing to have 70 finishing or you can have actually pop it into defending to have 75 defensive engagement and 70 aggression so it really depends on where you want to play him but i personally would play Modric as an attacking midfielder honestly that is where he's going to be best you won't need to do much work with him and he's going to be very run and gun very mobile same with gundo right so gundo is another player i think that people will probably ask a lot about he's not going to be as good in my opinion um defensively or anything like that but he does have a couple of unique stats and skills so he does have double touch and soul control he doesn't have flip flap so if you do want ball roll which gundo is very silky with the ball at his feet he has all the nice passing skills that you could want as well one touch true and weighted pass outside curler and of course he does have long range curler with heel trick as well so you could you could throw flip flap on him and you could use him as kind of an attack of midfielder shooting right this is the build that we've gone for here as well with him three five eight twelve seven zero into area strength and one into defending just to get that aggression up to 75 that's a very unique player you're going to have 90 plus in all those main stats for passing and tight possession and attacking awareness and balance and acceleration is going to be 85 plus so just to kind of focus a little bit on them two it's always nice to kind of look at them because not everyone is lucky enough unless you're clearing the agent to get these top two three boys okay um moving back to mendieta we'll leave bex to last because there's probably more to discuss I do think that Mendieta is going to be a little bit of a disappointment for players, mostly because obviously he's not as big a name as Rivaldo or Beckham. I mean, that goes without saying. <laughs> but his booster, lads, honestly, his booster, man, when you have that booster on, this is going to be a very nice card as well, especially with how we train him up, because apart from the speed, 
there isn't any real weakness with this card he's down as a creative playmaker he can play again through the central uh, positions as you see here cmf amf or right mid nice skills without him being too overpowered but he does have one touch pass and he does have way to pass with pinpoint crossing so it's a nice option and when you look at his stats when you train him up he does actually have 30 levels which isn't the worst i think he would have been really nice if you had more levels than that obviously the more levels the better but i do feel like he could have benefited from maybe three more levels uh, nine into passing and dribbling 10 into dexterity and then seven into lower body you're going to have a fairly dominant card i mean he's going to be able to dribble he's going to be able to pass he's going to have all those player skills that you could possibly want and of course his acceleration and balance is very very nice as well so there are a couple of, of of players in here we'll actually go through them very very quickly over on eFootball db right um you do have a couple of players there there's the bill for akelme i'm not going to spend too much time on these guys beltran you also have william carvalho whose build is there you can pause the video on any of these uh darder is there as well as moy gomez and of course then we have olivier torres who's going to round it off these players are a mix between average to being pretty decent but i don't think that they're going to be able to compete with what is working in the game at the moment so that brings us on to last but not least mr david beckham himself now first thing about beckham lads is he looks really nice in the game i do like this if you if you guys have seen the netflix documentary of beckham uh when he went to real madrid obviously this was his hairstyle when he went there um uh at like in in this season um but listen it's a nice card passing plus two is going to really max out his passing stats here very decent card i actually do like this card quite a lot uh for beckham but there is one or two limitations on it now the first thing i will say is this card is going to be hard to train especially where the game is at at the moment the reason for that i think is because he does have a lot of levels he's got 34 levels i didn't think he'd have that many levels but also on top of that you are going to have one touch pass long range shooting long range curler true pass and way to pass pinpoint and low lofted i think beckham is going to be kind of like not a mobile kind of like a center midfielder or right midfielder even though he can play those two positions i think beckham is going to be best suited as part of either a double pivot and have him slow and just take no consideration for his speed or else make him a little bit more kind of like pressing forward with those st stats right now we're going to show you his 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 build that i've gone for here i'm still kind of undecided right i'm still undecided on which position to kind of put him in if you wanted to play him as an attacking midfielder you could go for a nice solid base of this he's going to be getting a plus four to his low pass with the manager boost and his booster so you don't need to go much higher than three into passing if you want to have 90 low pass and 96 loft to pass i think beckham is going to be hitting a lot of long range switches over the top through balls and pinged uh stunning passes switching to play i think that's where he's going to really excel now if you're playing him on the right side you could actually bring up his low pass a little bit but to be honest 90 low pass is more than enough for where the current gameplay is ball control dribbling type possession again that's something personal uh whether you want to play him as a right-sided winger back in the glory days where he was bombarding up and down the right flank he doesn't really have the speed or the stamina for that or the acceleration but he could still do it the other thing is right if you wanted to kind of make a unique enough build you could go with 78 aggression to have 80 aggression with the manager boost 80 speed 80 acceleration 90 plus kicking power obviously is going to be there as well i do feel like you need to with beckham give him a couple of boosts into his place kicking or his free kicks and curl i think that's probably where it's going to be at with this card but this is a hard card to build lads because honestly there's a, there is a couple of limitations on this card i mean including his speed and his acceleration but depending on where you're playing him on the pitch you might not need to use that speed and acceleration as much as you would think and that is it now i will be live streaming later we might open a couple of cheeky packs for beckham might there's a small chance but i hope to see you guys in the stream later and we will talk to you in a bit don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already makes a big difference for some stuff that we're planning until next time we'll talk to you in a bit